The Ghostly Bear, written by Kenny Bolton and Julian de Vries, illustrated by Diana de Vries. As a silver moon shone in the cold night air, shaking with fright, ran a scared little bear. The young bear had seen a terrible sight, a ghostly bear, all scary and white. He ran until he could run no more, all the way home, where he bolted the door. I've seen a ghost in the woods, the bear cried. I think we should all run and hide. A ghost in the woods? asked his dad. Are you sure? The young bear replied, I know what I saw. When they looked outside, to their horror, they found a shadow so big it swallowed the ground. So the family decided to run and flee. They had no time to finish their tea. The ghost thought, well, that's very kind. They've left some dinner for me behind. I like it here, said the ghost with a smile. I think I'll stay around for a while. In the morning, as the bright sun shone, the bears were hoping the ghost had gone. Watching their house through bushes and trees, they slowly crept back on their hands and knees. With hearts pounding loudly as closer they sneak, the door handle opens the door with a creak. But to their surprise, guess who'd come to stay? Their cousin, the polar bear, on holiday. Thanks so much to Finetti for giving me this chance to read for the 12 days of Christmas and to donate a year's worth uh, of subscription to Finetti for all the kids at Kingsclear Primary School. It's where I went to school. It's the village where um, my brother and sister-in-law and parents and uh, my nibblings still live. And I would really like for all of them to get the chance to read all the fantastic books on Finetti. Mm -hmm.